Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Greece. Ancient Greece. Yes. yes. As you can see we have uh, taken Edge Sculpture out on the road yet again for one of our presentations. No expense spared. Absolutely, Absolutely not. Absolutely. <laughs> However, I would say that we wanted to get a bit nearer to the Parthenon and we've actually managed this quite a long way away. And the reason for that is it's so popular. Yes. I think ever since the airports have opened up again, it's just swarming, isn't it, Dan? Yes. I mean, swarming. Like little ants over there. Absolutely. Yes. And it's not just the people, there's lots of people around, it's also, there are lots of weddings. Lots of weddings. Lots of weddings. I mean, all we can hear constantly, even in the background now, you can hear a chap busy with his banjo. It, it, bazooki. Bazooki. I knew bazooki. I'd get that wrong. Yes. It's a bazooki, isn't it, Dan? <laughs> it looks like a banjo to me. Well, there's... Probably there's probably there's probably a banjo a bazooki. He's a very merry fellow as well. He's very enthusiastic. Not as enthusiastic as the people throwing plates, though, Dan. Oh, no, it's a health plates. and safety Never seen there. anything like it. it. Yeah. It's good to wear in boots. <laughs> yes. Again, second one. Boots in the jungle, boots here, for quite <laughs> two different reasons. But yes, you wear flip-flops over here. Ooh, no. good. You're going to go straight through your toe. No more toes. Absolutely. Anyway, we've struggled and we've carried this set all the way for a view of the Parthenon to introduce this piece. Now, this is a Greek warrior, an ancient Greek warrior. Now, I know a lot of you, and, and even we called it a Spartan, but originally when I was sculpting it, it was basically an ancient Greek warrior with a Corinthian-style helmet worn by hoplites. Hoplites used to have spears and shields, mm -hmm. etc. Either way, Spartans and ancient Greeks, warriors, they're all skilled anyway. So it doesn't really matter, they all had a similar style of helmet. But that was where I wanted to come from with the piece. Yeah. But also, I wanted to sculpt the piece with a very classical look to it. Hence the reason why you've got a lot of squareness around the eyes and things like that. I wanted it to have that sort of like old look, even with a contemporary style finish that I wanted to put with Edge. So it's very much a subject I wanted to sculpt myself. And in the early years of Edge, mm -hmm. that's very much the case. You know, you very much pick a subject out. Yeah, well, that. the days before Facebook Absolutely. and opinions. Yeah. And so, unfortunately, uh, I say unfortunately, uh, we're retiring it because up to me, I'd never retire anything. No, you wouldn't. No, <laughs> but we're retiring the piece, this piece. But we're not just retiring it without, I don't know, bringing something new with it as a final goodbye. With a bang. With a bang. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to be a limited edition of 50 pieces, but in order to make it extra special, we really wanted to work hard on trying to bring something else out with it. Now, with that, uh, we've tried our level best to make the pieces antique and weathered and old as we possibly can. Now, to achieve this, and I think Peggy's worked really well with this, I mean, this is probably about our seventh attempt to try and make this work. We tried many different colours. Yeah. But what we've gone through with here is almost like a, a warm gold patina, but just on the, the Corinthian style helmet, that looks like it's old, that looks like it's ancient. We didn't want something that looks too fresh and just been plated only yeah. yesterday. Uh, now, to achieve this, um, we haven't just dry brushed the piece like we possibly would usually. We've got another technique which is, it requires a bit more of a hand stipple as well. So even though I do put texture in the piece anyway when I'm sculpting it, because that's how I want it to look, natural as I could possibly get it, and organic, um, it adds to it. So really, even up close, and to be honest, up close you can actually see the metallic reference that I'm I've mentioned already, you can't really see it on no. camera so much because the lighting won't let you, but it's certainly there. And so, yeah, I mean, hopefully you like what we've done with it. Yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah, yeah. As, as Matt said, um, the camera can't pick it up too well, but it, uh, it will be a limited edition of mm. only 50, which yeah. will be signed by yourself. Absolutely. Uh, every well. piece and yeah. with a certificate of authenticity also signed by yeah. yourself. You've got a lot of signing to do. To be honest with you, Dan, it's only, it's only since like yesterday I released it, and I won't, I won't lie, I'm a little bit upset and a bit sad that we're waving goodbye to it. But we are. Yeah. And so I think from here, we need to go to your 360 presentation. Absolutely, Dan, go to the 360. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'd say magic button, but he's put, he's got a lever. I've got a lever. A lever. Yes. Yes. So magic lever. I couldn't yeah. get the electricity. So okay. yank the lever, no. Dan. So okay. Yank it. So. The magic lever. Okay, three, two, one. Wrong word there.
Hello again everybody and uh, welcome back. Uh, as you can see we have changed location again. So from ancient Greece to some ancient woodlands no less. It's a very old looking wood with lots of story in it. I mean I think a lot of fairy tales and stories involve woods don't they? <laughs> yeah, they do. Because they have shapes don't they and shadows in them and you never know what's around every corner. And lots of noises as well. I mean, let's be honest. I think when everyone's quiet and attentive in the woods, you're always more aware, aren't you, of the noises in it? Anyway, we thought, what better place to take our presentation as we say farewell to the Green Man? Yeah. Yes, the, the Green Man, uh, he is my favourite sculpt, I think, Matt, of yours. So it is sad to see him go. But uh, all good things must come to an end, I suppose. Absolutely, I say end. I'd rather not retire anything. No. But life moves on like that. Yes, and you have to make way for your yeah. more sculpts. I did enjoy future. sculpting this one, Dan, and it did evolve, didn't mm -hmm. it? And when I first started sculpting it, before I put ingratiated it with leaves, etc., etc., it looked very demonic. <laughs> and I quite liked it. I was thinking, oh, look, it's going to be a devil. But, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> from a commercial point of view, the devil might not sell as well as one might hope. Probably, possibly not. No, you can't imagine putting many people wanted to put in their house. But I liked it. <laughs> anyway, as I developed it, I thought to myself, no, I want a more Zeus-like look to it. And I know he's not a god, but I wanted it to have that sense of, I don't know, authority of presence about it. Well, well actually, I did read somewhere, it might be wrong, did totally, you? that, that um, he might be based on Odin. Might be based on Odin or, or some of the uh, Viking, the uh, and Iron, Norse god. Yeah. But uh, yet, yeah, so but I think that's the point. He is a very mysterious character, and yeah. people can't necessarily pinpoint where he came from. Or well, no, that's true, Dan. From whom? I mean, no one can actually lay claim to the no. Green Man. He's seen throughout the world. When the Crusaders were over in uh, Jerusalem, they saw carvings on on the walls. Mm. And to be honest with you, a lot of people assume they brought that imagery back with them. But there are very paganistic overtones with the Green Man. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a symbol of rebirth. Yeah. And it's been adopted now by people that are very interested in, I suppose, witchcraft and paganism. He isn't a very negative character, even though modern conception is that he is. Yes, he was portrayed yeah. quite as a sinister character these days, isn't he? But he, not that, that's, that's not what he is, no. no. It is rather strange, though, that you see him sculpted on churches, though, don't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, a pagan symbol on, on Christian And gargoyles. Church, yeah. What are gargoyles about? <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. You can imagine that an architect has designed this church and they off the, st the stonemasons go flying on the wall. And, can I sculpt this strange, demonic-looking creature? Yeah. And getting the thumbs up? Yeah, because it, it's, it's up there. I know. It's, actually, it's very strange. No one will see it. No, <laughs> well, you never know, actually. It's like a medieval sense of humour. Yeah, absolutely. But no. However, going forward, oh, we thought... Edge Gargoyle. There you go. Oh, no. <laughs> it's actually a good idea. And, <laughs> yes. We hadn't set that up, actually. But <laughs> that's the problem. Is as soon as you get an idea like that thrown at you, it's... That would be interesting, though, would it, Dan? Good. Yeah. Again, there's no definitive look to a gargoyle. We'll go anywhere. Yeah. But anyway, you're... Feet on the ground. Yes. We're Back saying to goodbye you. to the Green Man. Yeah. This piece will be a limited edition of 50, and I'll be signing and numbering each one. Now, bearing in mind this is the last 50 we're going to make, in a similar fashion to the Spartan, we also wanted to create a different finish with it. And again, we wanted to bring out the ancient and old and weathered feel with the piece, which is why we've also adopted the same technique and Peggy's done very very well with this as well. Yes, absolutely. Not only is it dry brushed, it's also got our stipple technique with it. It's also got a metallic uh, finish to the end of the tips of the leaves. Also done in a way that it looks like they could have been painted 200 years ago, mm -hmm. 400 years ago. And I think that's the point with anything like this. I didn't want it to look too contemporary in its finish. So yeah, I mean, hopefully we've achieved it and you like what we've done, folks. I'll just yep. move it around a little bit so you can see what we've done. I know that, I know that down there, following this presentation, has got a 360 so you can see it a little bit Yes, I, I was just about to say, but probably at this yeah. distance it isn't the best. So yes, no. I think we should uh, go on to the 360 um, where you can see him a lot more closely. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the magic 
lever time. Magic because lever. I couldn't get the power for the button. Like a twig. <laughs> yes, and the twig. You dropped apparently. an acorn there as well. No? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always doing that. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Should we go? Then? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So three, two, one, go. Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. Um, as you can see we have indeed changed our location again but um, uh, to be honest I have no idea where we are or how we indeed we got here. It's stunningly beautiful though <laughs> isn't it? No. Yes I must admit it's 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 very nice but, uh, know, yeah, but where it is I don't know who knows? one path to the left and here we are <laughs> a magical grove <laughs> on no map whatsoever. But it's very appropriate, isn't it? Very appropriate for our farewell to the Wood Elf. Absolutely. It? Absolutely. Now, with this Wood Elf, again, in a similar way to the Green Man, and indeed the Spartan, it's a subject that we all know what they look like. When I say all, because it's a story, or the folklore, has, has, has carried on through years, through centuries. Of course, they've had different meanings, different interpretations, and indeed different looks and a different feel to it. Yes, well, well I think most people's uh, modern interpretation of the elf it comes from probably, you know, Tolkien and uh, Lord of the Rings, where, you know, you've got these these beautiful, powerful creatures, mm. uh, magical creatures, uh, who, who live in uh, the woods. But, um, you know, elves have been around for centuries, if not millennia, mm. and um, not always looked to, on upon as 
kindly. Not creatures. favorably, no. No, no, either mischievous little beings, or in, in Norse mythology, they're, they're looked upon as more like sirens, you know, yeah. luring people in and, and Through causing. Seduction. No. Yes, in causing. Through seduction. Illnesses, etc. But yeah, also, mm. names wise, and this mm -hmm. is a really good one, a real yep. strange one, this. Now, King Alfred, a name though we're all familiar with. King Alfred of the Saxons, we all know who he is. Alfred, the butler of Batman, we all know who he is too as well, don't we? <laughs> yeah. But did you know his name means elf advice? No, I didn't. Elf advice. So it, it, this is the point, it's even linked in with names. Like wise advice, do you mean? Well, like, like yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Alfgar means elf spear. Oh, okay. And elf weird or veard means elf guardian. And of course, these sort of names were used a lot more about a thousand years ago. And of course, they're not used so much now, but there are other names that n would mean now elf something. But people don't know that, do they? No, no I didn't. <laughs> but you, so but usually, though, yeah. it's used with a name that is a symbol of strength yes. or knowledge. Yeah. And I think going back to this greater being or perfect being mm -hmm. notion of, that's where elves are linked with. Now, with the interpretation I wanted to bring with an elf, or what I, my assumption or belief that an elf would look like, yeah. is a little bit of everything, I think. You know, it's, it's, it, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful face, but I didn't want it to be cutesy beautiful, almost hauntingly beautiful. That's what I was going for. Yeah. Piercing eyes as well, and it, particularly in, in different views and different angles. Not so much sort of just demure, but more piercing yeah. and I think that's what I hope you guys think it looks like now from a Finnish point of view no different to the the uh, green man or the Spartan we wanted to achieve the same weathered finish but it's also a finish I really do think brings the best out of the piece the sculpt so from point of personal point of view being a sculptor I like it because I can see the work in it no it's lovely yeah and it looks so old and it looks so weathered so yeah, it is going to be sad to say goodbye to it. We are going to be making 50 of these guys. Yep. And I'm going to be signing them and they'll be individually numbered as well. Though. Yes, that and the certificate yeah. of authenticity. Yeah. But I think, uh, yeah, again, we should go to the, the 360. Absolutely. So you can yeah. see it uh, more closely. So uh, without any further ado, I think we should do the magic uh, lever again. Definitely a magic lever, Dan. <laughs> yes, it's got oh, to be. Good Lord. And, and I do hope we can get out of here. <laughs> yeah, who knows? <laughs> anyway, we'll see you on the other it. side of the 360. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Magical lever time. Magic lever. Okay. Three, two, one. Go. <laughs>
Hello again everybody and uh, welcome back. First things first, though Matt, at the, least... The way out. <laughs> yes, the way at out. least we found yeah. the way out. We found the way out, folks, which is great. <laughs> I hope so. I know. Just around the corner as well. Who knew? Up those steps, doors wide open, we've got back. Back to Blighty. Yes, absolutely. Well, we hope so. But before we do, before we go, I um, have to say a few words on the limited edition pieces you've just seen. So the Spartan, the Green Man and the Elf, limited edition 50s only, will be available tomorrow, which is May the 13th, on the trade only website for the stock is to order. Yes, well done. Yes, and uh, it won't be long until we're back though, Matt, is it? No, indeed. We will be filming the Highland Cow next week so that then we can launch that video and that presentation on the 19th. So it's been a really hectic May. Absolutely. But yeah, so backpacks next week done. Yep, so before we go up those steps, we have to do the magic lever one last time. Magic lever. And hopefully it will be back in Blighty. Absolutely. Okay, so goodbye everybody. Magic lever time. Yeah, pull it as much as you can. <laughs> I'm going to. Three, two, one. Bye, folks. Goodbye.